This is Gene Key, KDD News. Snow began falling in the southern parts of the Texas Panhandle yesterday, shortly after noon, causing slick roads and poor driving conditions. Dumas received blowing snow just after 12:30 Sunday afternoon. Accumulations of an inch had been reported in Moore County. According to the Weather Service, bands of snow moved through the Panhandle all afternoon and evening. Fortunately, the wind was not a significant factor. Texas Department of Transportation crews worked to clear highways most of the day yesterday. Three people escaped a Pampa house fire without injury Saturday about 1:20 p.m. Pampa firefighters were dispatched to a residential blaze in the 1100 block of South Hobart Street. Pampa fire captain Robert Griffin said the back of the home was ablaze with heavy smoke pouring out when firefighters arrived. At least three occupants left the home when they discovered the fire, which began in the laundry room near the back of the home. They told firefighters two dogs and one cat were still inside the home. Once firefighters entered the home, they were able to rescue the pets. Griffin said there were no injuries. The cause of the fire is under investigation. From NewsChannel10.com, Hereford Independent School District is speaking out for its students by voicing concerns over the standardized test. The new standardized test counts for 15% of a student's grade. One big concern for the Hereford District is that the test is linked to graduation requirements and final grades. A falling score could put students at risk of failing a grade or retaking a class. School districts are required by law to remediate students who don't do well on the test, but with no additional funds or guidance, they don't know how that can be accomplished. High school students recently took a benchmark test and administrators say that results are scary, but they're doing what they can to bridge the gaps between the test. Hereford Superintendent Kelly Moulton says the district is considering the repercussions of simply withholding test scores. She hopes it will encourage school districts in Texas to speak out. If you would like the latest Dumas Panhandle and Texas news on your mobile device, you can follow KDD News on YouTube. Simply search KDDD or Gene Key on Facebook or Twitter. This is Gene Key, KDD News.